Hey, yo, it's Brian Lord. Welcome back to Little Realm Total Wars, the Greek City States. If you recall last time, we uh, had a little run in with the Macedonians, and they kind of extorted us for some extra cash, which I'm not a fan of. But. Um, we were able to negotiate out of that, or they they made us negotiate out of that, and uh, we're now their protectorate. Which means we pay money to them every turn. We're paying 3500 but I think the increase of our trade income due to them is worth the little bit of, uh, you know, extortion. So it's either take a big hit to the trade income or, uh, and be enemies with them, or be allies with them and, uh, you know... Have good trading from I don't know. I think I think I made the right decision. We'll see though. Anyway, let's continue the battle. Yeah, the war against the Romans still going pretty well. That's where um, the most hope lies, and uh, we are sending a big navy over to Sicily to, to go conquer it, and uh, hopefully we can pull that off without a, too much of a hitch. And uh, yeah, again, if need be, we could abandon these these settlements here. If need be. Memnon's old as crap. Holy cow. We actually don't have that many family members alive, do we? This is this guy. We have one. We have one, two, three family members. One, two, three. And then four in the boat here. Five, six. That's pretty bad. And a lot of them are old. I don't know. We, we I might just lose by default, and that would be really crappy. But, uh, we'll see. Hopefully not. Anyway, saving and ending the turn. Brody, I going to use this army? Yes. I figured they would. So this is kind of the Brody Eye's last stand. Because they don't have anything at Capua. And really no way to train armies fast enough. Um, so this is, this is basically their last stand. This army's not too bad. Uh, it's got Prince of Pays, lots of Prince of Pays, and, uh, you know... Some artillery support. So a little bit of cavalry. Some Velte gladiators. Which are capable spearmen in their own right. And uh, Cornelius here has a bunch of beleaguered units. Uh, oh! Wait, 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 wait. Amulius died. It looks like. So we have the faction leader and faction era here. Interesting. This could be an interesting battle. We'll see. So uh, let's get into it. Here on Roma Totoar. And now I'm going to take a drink real quick. They have an abundance of gold and silver, and this makes thing, And these make war like other things go smoothly. Indeed, indubitably! White. And uh, a win here would be greatly appreciated because I kind of need a win. Hoo, hoo, hoo. There is no shame in being scared, but fear should never be your master. Now cheer, you children of Zeus, and sound the advance. Hoo, hoo, hoo. All right, sounds good. So where's the city? Right behind us. Okay. I think lining up up here would probably be the best scenario, but we'll see. We'll see if it is, but um, I'm going to line up here, is, I guess, what I'm trying to say. A little farther. A little more spread out. Um, that's actually pretty good. Because they have a lot of infantry, I need to be farther spread out, which could be bad if they decide to, you know, bum rush one phalanx unit, but... Uh, I feel like we'll be okay. Not too worried. And have our, gen our usual generals and guys spread out here. And have the rest of our Jav Cav right behind to deal with the incoming army right away. The enemy have brought up more reinforcements in a futile attempt to save themselves. I guess that army's delayed. There, I guess. Alright, whatever. Um. So they're going to come in together, 
and be together and be all right. Uh, where are their artillery? Oh, they're wide open in the butt, in the back, <laughs> in the butt, in the back here. So what I'm gonna do is take advantage of that with our jab calf. Per usual. I mean, come on. That's what I always do. I like to use the JFK and take down their, uh... Look at... They're so far away from the rest of their army. It's ridiculous. Mostly because they can't... They can't move through woods, so they have to, like, reorganize. You know, move out a certain direction. I just hope I can get around... What are my spacing? I got plenty of spacing there, man. I was gonna say. I might have to move around these principates pretty sneakily, but... I think I'll get plenty of spacing. So I'll move out. And all should go well. No promises. The Brody I do have a bunch of units. Um, and, and manpower. They do have a good amount of manpower. I'm not going to knock on this on this battle here. This is probably their best chance at stopping us. Unfortunately, it is their last chance as well. Whoa. They're going buck nuts. But uh, we should be able to make it past them. There we go. I like it. Like a dolt. Like a dolt. And move out and back here where we should be safe from their main army and should be able to hunt down the ballistas without too much trouble. And they'll come back and harass, of course, because that's what we do. There we go. Made it past. So let's go take down these ballistas. You know, their main army's moving up. Do they have rain? Yeah, they do have velites, which are kind of annoying, but uh, shouldn't be too much of a bother. Again, armored hoplites are very powerful or very defensive. And I should be able to take shots from, from Velites. And our, our hoplites are fully spread out. Um, the minimum you want to have your guys spread out is three layers. Because they have three spear points. And oh, shoot. <sighs> really? You're going to come in now? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, they decided to attack. Okay. Or we just ran into them or something. I don't know. But uh, kill the ballistas. And, uh, I guess go harass the army. Shoot, why did they have to come in now? Why did, why do I have such bad luck at this kind of thing? Um, well, I guess we're going to have to go take them out with our generals, which is kind of sucky. But at least Doros can call Cry Command and defend himself. So it shouldn't be too bad. I think he'll attack the Principes first. Actually, he'll attack... He's going to attack the Town Watch first, and he's going to attack the Principes. And we should be able to handle him, I think. And uh, First Army is moving in. You guys need to get a little closer here. You're not really harassing very well. So we're going to charge in here, and charge in here. And should be able to take them out pretty nicely. You're going to have to retreat though. But uh, you're doing pretty good. Oh shoot, he almost died. That would have been bad. Well these Roman archers should be able to to die really easily. Should be able to die, yes, that is, that is what I said. And, uh, oh gosh, looks like their men are already routing quite nicely. Is that Doros in there? Doros! What do you... I don't like it when you're doing that. <sighs> you have no idea how much that just scared me. There we go. Should be able to take him out pretty easily here. Come on, guys. What are you guys getting hurt by? Oh. We got Pila over here. Scared me again. And this army should be taken out. There we go. And uh, this armored oplite unit here is not doing so hot. But uh, it's doing okay. It's actually a pretty close battle over here. Maybe not. <laughs> Shouldn't say that, because it's not true. And uh, these guys are... Should be harassing them. 
Should be running them down, making them flee. And uh, retreating from this general here, because he'll be bad news. And there we go, got that guy. Very nice. probably turn to fight this guy instead of, you know, just let him, just letting him, you know, hammer him in, but there we go. Cut him down. Very, very nice. Very nice. Indeed. And, uh, looks like they're gonna, oh, shoot. Yeah, that unit's dead. We need to retreat these guys. Probably not gonna be able to take on 95 general units. Even though... My militia cap aren't that bad, and uh, they're gonna run into the backs of these archers with their their men, but should should go down. I mean, it was a good try, but the equites should be able to get destroyed. Sam, that mercenary is charging in. Come on, kill these guys. It's not that hard. There's Cav. Shoot at him. There you go. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Get back in position. And holy crap. We got a problem here. So we need to get in there. And uh, Roman leader is routing. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> yes, indeed. Very nice, very nice job. Looks like this army is trying to reform itself, which is fine. Where are these guys fighting at? Just in the middle there. Yeah, see that—that that is one problem with doing that. Is uh, they, see the the cavalry was able to break through the line here, but fortunately they didn't kill that many of our men actually, and they were pretty healthy. And now we're peppering these guys with arrows. That's the beauty. Boom. Get destroyed. These guys aren't going to be able to do anything. Not enough men in the unit. The initial charge is going to kill them. Or they're just going to run in like that and die. That works too. So let's get our uh, militia cab out and start cleaning some of this mess up. Because I think we killed all of their generals. Which is really good. Uh, Sam Knight mercenaries here are kind of spearmen. Kind of spearmen, I say. And, uh, but uh, they're routed. So not too worried. Archers are pretty much harrying these men here. Pretty good battle. Pretty good battle for Greece here. We only lost 9% this time. That's pretty pretty good. And we're going to charge right in and knock the rest of these guys out. There we go. And that's their whole army. Very nice. It does look like they bought, you know, some mercenary units before the battle. Quite a few. But uh, mercenaries aren't the answer to everything, guys. Sometimes you just need your own men. We did kill. Did we kill this general? Yeah, it looks like we did. But it uh, looks like the Broody Eyes' last charge of faith here, kind of. I'm going to charge right into these Principes here. Should be able to route them, maybe. There we go. And then, by concert, we should be able to route these guys. And then, should be able to route these guys. And just cause kind of mass mass panic over here with our militia cav, per usual, because that's what that's what militia cav are good at, causing mass panic. And uh, even against these velites, maybe saying that, just saying that didn't sound right. Yeah. Okay, maybe not. Oh, maybe, 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 maybe. No, bad idea. Get out. Shoot! Don't route. Don't. You're winning. Stop routing. Idiots will be idiots, I guess. Um, any else, anything else to Harris over here? And I said Harris on purpose. Just to annoy everybody that likes it to harass. But, uh, I don't know. That doesn't really matter to me how anyone says it. Um, so, yeah, just retreating with our men. And we'll see if anybody... How's that? <laughs> just routing by association. 
about to say gladiators trying to hunt us down. Probably not going to work. Although they did stand their ground pretty nicely here, as you can see. So I'll say gliders are very good against, uh... Oh, these guys come back. Alright. Uh, we did, we did suffer one unit routing, which is that, uh, Militia Cave that got hit by the enemy general, I believe. But other than that, pretty clean. Pretty clean battle. Get these guys to come fight the Delta Gladiators. Get all these guys to come fight them, because I'm not sure where they're attacking yet. And, uh, they're just kind of marching in, just kind of just getting in there. Just getting some. And put down your spears, please. There we go. Boom. Boom. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka, boom shakalaka, boom. And uh, I guess now we can hunt them down. Because we've killed their best unit, so. Not too worried about anything else that they can throw out. Continue battle. And run as down as many as we can. Big clump of Vistati over here. Big clump of Velites. And uh, these Principes. That'll probably be it. Don't really need to run down anything more than that. So, uh, a glorious victory for Greece. Indeed. Doros of Sparta. Doros of Sparta expanding his reputation as a dominator of Romans. Very good job. And we should be able to take, uh, what is this city? I don't even remember what the city is. But we should be able to take it. I believe. Can I? No, really? 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 They had enough men. But uh, we should be able to auto manage it anyway. Um, go from there. And we made some. I think we're making money. New family members. See, we're getting plenty of family members now. So as long as we just survive long enough, should be fine. Construction replete. Replete. Yes, I said replete. The awesome temple of Hermes complete. We need a city barracks just in case. Just in case. I don't think we can afford buildings anywhere else. Kind of need to save up for that. And uh, hopefully we were about to, you know, just... Actually, duh. Taking this will give us some money. And uh, they killed zero units. There we go. Now that's an auto-manage. And can I destroy... They have an Odeon here? Oh, that's under construction. I was like, what the heck? They have an Odeon? <laughs> But, uh... Hmm, okay. Well, I'll return the Militia Cav, and we'll sort out the Hoplites here, I guess. Because I don't think they... They probably don't have good upgrades here. But they could, I don't know. Uh, da -da. Um. There. Looks pretty good. But, uh... Take down their temple and build our own. I'm not sure if this is really giving that much happiness is the thing. I don't know. And I'll try to move out next turn because I think we probably could, so. Go after Cap. Cap! Hey, Cap, you what you doing, man? We won't take you down. And look at that. The domination of the Greeks continues even though we are not our own faction anymore we're we're technically an arm of Macedon now so the Macedonian Empire is extending into actually yeah I basically have to call myself the Macedonian Empire now as uh, sordid as that seems but it is true we are the Macedonian Empire we're not our own empire and Athens needs larger walls as well just so we can defend against possible Macedonian incursions. Because even though we are their protectorates, they s might still want our land. Although, I don't think they really want our land. That hasn't been evident. Even more after the money. These places really need to grow a little faster. I mean, come on, man. I'm trying to grow you forever. And we got a few more turns until he's going to get over here. He's going to be like 20 by the time he gets over here. But, uh, he's, he's not that good, but, uh, he's better than nothing. Like, literally. A lot better than nothing. And let's see, this is the remainder of the Brutii army. Two units of Vistati, Velites, those guys, and some city garrison. Oh, gosh. And Cassius Brutus here, who is a, wow, gosh, dude. 
18 and he's already that good. I guess he had to inherit the mantle of the Roman, one of the Roman families, but still. Actually, what I feel like doing here, we could do something a little sneaky. I'm going to go spy up here a little bit. Uh, looks like Julia are coming down. Maybe they're going to come down and attack us. I'm not sure. We'll see. Because they realize we're on their border now. Perhaps. Um, that was a big bridge. Holy cow. But I'm going to take this guy down. To Neapolis. And we're going to take the garrison here and go up to Capua, I think. And Doros himself is going to go launch an attack on Rome. I believe would be the best plan of action, perhaps. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll see, though. We'll see. But uh, for now, I'm going to save it in the turn. Because that's what all good, true Greeks do. Save it in the turn. So, doing that. And it looks like they got a new family member for some reason. Computers always getting new family members. Shameful. But, uh, Gaul talking to them. And Julii, not sure what they're doing. I'm going to keep an eye on the Julii. Well, they are at very high tax rate, I guess. So there we go. That should make them happy. And recruitment report. End of turn report. Making money. Uh, the more money we make, the more they extort us. But at the same time, we should be able to, uh, you know, be all right. And, wow, Tarentum is pretty darn happy. I'm surprised. We don't really need that. Yeah, we don't need, really need any of those buildings. Can I? Need that, though. And... Because I kind of know what to expect here. We don't really need to do much with that. Should be able to handle... I think we should be able to handle the Romans. It could be wrong. But I think it should be pretty pretty even. Um, train one more unit and we'll see if we can move out or not. Check out what's going on in Rome. They got their large armies of... Oh, gosh! Whew! Gosh darn. They start with an urban barracks, really. It's even not even a huge city. But a deep mine, hippodrome. Oh, we could train so much good stuff here. And of course, here's the general army. Who is in general really annoying. Yeah. And uh, why does that guy have so many more? I don't know. Uh, and then all the Julianus, Gaius, and Lentulus. Their actual family members. Fair enough. All with really good experience. For some reason. I don't know. But, uh, Doros, Doros can take a crack at him. Because Doros is at the end of his life. We need to use him aggressively. And, uh, I think attacking Rome would be the best way to do that. That'd be mega aggressive. And I did say I wanted to use the garrison here to, you know, take out. So that's what I'm going to do. What well, I think I'm actually going to do here is how how expensive are peasants? Yeah, 100 per turn. Uh, let's get rid of a few of these. Actually, let's get rid of a lot of these. And build peasants instead. Because I think that's a lot cheaper. And, uh... That'll probably help our money situation a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that. Um, mm, 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 mm. 
Yeah, looking pretty good. So let's end the turn and see if the Brutia are going to do anything on their last turn of independence. Well, I mean, the last turn to do something with their city because I'm just going to be sieging it to death past this point. My only worry is that Rome, the Romans are here, the Senate army is going to try to, you know, defend them. And who died? It better not have been Doros. Oh, that spy died, really? Of old age? Oh, okay, that's better than something else happening, I guess. Regium is growing as well. Very nice. Very nice. Growing into a fine region. And uh, speaking of which, Croton has upgraded successfully. Good on you, Croton. And Syracuse has built a dockyard. Don't really need anything here. Syracuse is pretty good. Syracuse and Masana don't really need any buildings. And, uh, gosh. <laughs> Trying to kill this guy much? Not gonna work. Two more turns until he gets there. And stuff. Worthy like the will of God. Interesting. We should really build a spy here. That would probably be a good idea. I just realized that. And things looking good there. Let's attack Capua. It would be foolish to try to sally forth, I believe. But, uh, you know, they can try. They can try. Oh my gosh, can they try? Let's see. There we go. See, they're pretty happy. And now they're really happy. There you go. Because I nuked their whole population. But uh, let's go hide. Let's have go Doris go hide up here. And keep spying on the Romans, the Julii, more specifically. The Julii really love their Samnite mercenaries, or their Samnite gladiators. I don't know what it is. But, uh... Yeah, we'll see if the Senate comes out and attacks me. That would be kind of cool. Oh, I guess there's a volcano here. That's probably why things happened the way they did. I mean, I wonder if it actually killed people in the town. That would be interesting. And convenient. So, the Broody Eye last settlement is going to go down hopefully soon. And perhaps Rome itself will fall. But uh, we're not even an independent nation. We're just an arm of the Macedonian faction. As I've said before. So, What independence do we have, really? Save it in the turn. Broody Eye. Oh, gosh! Retreat. Don't retreat that way, you dingle bat. You dingle bat. Wait, that actually works. Check this out, check this out. Oh my gosh. I don't believe it. That actually works pretty nice. Oh, they just... A little bigger temple to Athena. Turn to port, making some money. Let's let's make sure we're building everywhere. Neapolis doesn't need to build. Can't get higher tax rate. <laughs> They're really trying to kill us. Huh? Um. Wow. Holy cow. Okay, the they do have big navies. But we should be able to make it over there. Fine, I think. Um, oh shoot, here they come. Here they come. Yup. Not a moment too soon. Here comes the Macedonians. Oh, gosh. Why do these things have to happen? We really, yeah, I really need to upgrade this to a few large city before I start building Unitree there. And it's really going to kill me that I don't have to, can't build walls there. Well, I can, but. But the cool thing I was talking about here is uh, something that we're going to do next time. Whoa! On Rome Total Wars, Greek city states. So join us next time as I execute a little sneakiness 
over here and uh, try to take a roam out. So, thanks for watching. And uh, join us next time when hopefully we can accomplish what I'm trying to accomplish. So, thanks for watching. Burn on the sign out. Have a great day.